What is up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Blaze. Today we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hopefully you guys having a very good day today. And today we have your almost a no item run. Uh, I was just very close with this, but uh, unfortunately I did have used an item right here. But this one here was actually pretty simple. I would say compared to the other previous Wicked Bloodline um, Ultimate Red Zone. So this right here is going to be the Metal Cooler. And really, it's actually not that difficult. Um, I did bring here a double lead of the LR God just because in the last phase, uh, Cooler is going to be here an AGL type. Now, the real issue uh, with this event right here is actually going to be these robots or the Kelter or Celtian, whatever you call them, uh, guards right here. Who actually do hit pretty hard and on top of that, they also debuff your attack and your defense. Um, these guys don't have that much HP, but it seems like their defense is, they actually seem pretty tanky to, in my opinion. Um, just because, again, we do, again, this team has a bunch of hard hitting LRs, and we're just barely doing any dent to this character. So, um, I would say this part right here, as far as a no item run, is definitely going to rely on RNG, because not a lot of characters can actually really tank really well their super tank, unless, of course, you're on the JP side. Where you have the LR um, Vegeta and Trunks, or if you have here Goku, the LR Carnival Goku at 100%, then maybe you actually could use this character. But as far as the super attack, this attack, you most likely want to try and dodge it right here. Now, because the LRs, or actually the 70 anniversary LRs, do have the guard ability, we were able to tank it. But as you guys can see here, I already have to use an item. Now, again, this right here, if I had like unlimited tries, I would definitely take the risk and not use an item. But. Again, these guys, if they super tag, no one on this turn right here, even after we super tag, are we going to survive the um, the super tag from these characters? Again, our HP is already almost down 10%, so I'm not even going to risk it. So, of course, I'm going to go ahead and bring her an Android 8. Now, this event was actually basically pretty simple, is that there's no gimmicks in this event right here. Um, now, what, one thing that you could notice, right, is that you can actually lower the attack on the robot. So, the reason why I brought here PyCon is, number one, he has a beautiful active skill. But number two, he can also lower the attack of these characters right here. So each time Pycon is going to super attack, he's going to keep lowering their defense or actually their attack right here. So the other characters on the other turns uh, won't take too much damage from their normal attacks. Um, now I also brought here the LR Goku and Vegeta that, that transforms into Tech Gogeta. And again, a lot of people can disregard these guys. They can say whatever. But you know what? When it comes to the full content, these guys have actually aged up pretty well. Uh, not too crazy, I'm going to say here, but... They are definitely better than the Vegito. Now, I would say their defense can definitely be a lot better. But, again, you cannot disregard the effect that they have here with their Scouter effect. Uh, so, that's the main reason why we actually had them is because of the Scouter effect. Um, we also brought here God Goku as well. Now, God Goku, again, is going to be really good. Uh, the only thing is that in the first phase, um, he's not going to be that effective. And the reason why is because the, uh, this character is not a movie boss. So, because he's not a movie boss character... Um, we, you really have to hide this Goku until you actually get to the Metal Cooler phase. So, of course, we have this rotation right here. Um, and what I'm trying to do is I want to make sure that, um, now this was actually, no, this was actually a misplay. I thought I gave enough key spheres to the LR Super Saiyan 4s, where they only need two key spheres because I was able to grab those four key spheres for PyCon. But we were just shy of one key sphere, uh, to actually get a super attack with the LR Super Saiyan 4s. Um, again, this was pretty simple. I mean, definitely on the JP side, it's much more easier. If I was on the JP side, I probably would actually try and beat, get this done here with a LR Cooler team because of the Golden Frieza. But, um, again, this is not really anything, anything too crazy, I want to say. Um, which is pretty interesting. Like, there's really no gimmicks. We do get Super Attack right here, but that's okay because we have an Android 8. And, of course, Goku has his guard ability. Uh, again, Pygon is going to be here just to debuff the enemy even more. Um, and we do take some damage right here, but it's not enough to actually take us below 77% um, because now you can see we're taking here double digits. So now we're actually starting to cook right here. So now we're actually going to go ahead and use the active skill with the LR Gogeta because our HP is above 77%. And now we can see that there's actually no, no super attacks in the front. So this right here, um, if we can actually take care of the robots this phase... Then, actually, no, my plan this turn, actually, was actually not to kill the robots. And maybe kill them next phase so we can actually start off against Metal Cooler with the God Goku. But, unfortunately, the LR guards are just very, very strong. 
As you guys can see here, I go for a 12 key super with the Tech Gogeta. And again, Tech Gogeta is a fantastic unit. Again, the only problem is that his defense isn't, you know, as powerful as Vegito's uh, attacking force. So um, it is a shame. They should have really gave him maybe 60% damage reduction or give him a chance to actually do three super attacks. Um, because again, he does raise his defense on super attacks. So if he can do maybe three super attacks, then his defense should be a lot better. But uh, again, it is it is unfortunate that Gogeta, they decide to give him more a chance to crit when he's already super effective. Uh, even though it does more damage, like already super effective is just enough to do a significant amount of damage right here. All right, so there go the LR7 gods. I was I was actually deciding if I should actually transform with them, but I decided not to transform and get the extra stack right here. Uh, and the reason why is because um, uh, our defense is actually be a, a very big role against Cooler because Cooler, his super attack actually does quite a lot of damage. So uh, I want to make sure that I stack up my character's defense as much as possible. There we go, we take care of the robots. And basically that's about it. We actually get the run done because, because of the scouter effect um, where we can see where it's actually going to be placed here. Now the good thing is that we also have here the double transformation because it's, it's past turn 4 for the 7 year anniversary LRs. Um, the good thing also as well is that there's only one attack in the middle. So for sure I'm going to transform with the LR Super Saiyan Forge and put them in the middle because under 18 key super they are going to nullify Cooler's attack right here. So of course, there we go, we actually give here Gogeta an 18 key super. I'm going to go ahead and transform with the gods here as well. And I'm also going to go ahead and get an 18 key super with them as well. So really, after this turn right here, we actually kill Cooler quite quickly. Uh, Goku actually takes a bit of damage. Uh, what's pretty funny is I did pull him last night, so I guess it was a sign to actually pull him when these guys came out. But uh, Goku is fantastic. Um, if you don't have Goku... Um, I guess you can go ahead and bring, I'm trying to think of another character that's actually pretty good defensively, because this cooler actually does hit pretty hard. Uh, you can maybe bring Kel and Khalifa as another good partner you can actually bring here, but again, you have to be very careful in the first stage against the robots because uh, they, their defense is not enough until you, they actually maybe do like three or four attacks here. But again, the good thing about them is that you are able to lower the attack of the first phase. Now, Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I've seen the slander on Twitter for some odd reason. And again, do not disregard this guy because this guy already took out two health bars from Metal Cooler. And he decided to pop off here. So I was actually pretty happy with that. Um, now, I was debating if I should put him at the back here. But I really did not want to leave the RNG for a 50% chance to counter. So I decided to put the gods at the back right here because they are going to do at least a double super. So their defense is going to be increased quite a lot. Um, so even if we don't dodge a super attack, at least we have a, a chance here to survive as well. Alright, so there goes a the super attack. And again, Cooler does actually hit pretty hard. We take here 372k of damage. And of course, we only dodge here the normals. Now, this actually did work in our favor though. So I did anticipate that we would actually eat the super attack. And the reason why is because we have your double active skill. We have Pycon's active skill. And then we also have your, of course, the LR God's active skill. Uh, and the reason why we have the access is because our HP is below 50%. So basically, uh, this right here is just actually really insane how much damage these guys can do. So the semi anniversary LRs definitely don't sleep on them. Now, if you don't have the LR gods, can you use, of course, the LR Super Saiyan 4s? Yes, you can. But again, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because the last phase, you're going to be here type neutral. And Cooler actually hits really hard. So... Um, you, you definitely want to bring here maybe Weiris or maybe Pandel because they both have a good chance of dodging. So, I, I think it's definitely possible with double LR Super Saiyan 4. But again, the Noidum run is, is, is almost right there. It's just right now the RNG for the Celtic Guards or whatever you call them. Um, it is going to be based on RNG because once you actually get to the last phase, it's actually not that bad. And you guys will see here that we actually kill Cooler in two turns. Um, because we do, we're do we doing so much damage to Cooler with the LR Gods. It's just not even funny. So, um, there we go. That's going to be a very quick video, my boys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your team build. Let me know if this team actually helped you out. But, again, PyCon is just an MVP with his active skill and the support. Uh, there's really not much here to say here. Uh, the Gods here have here 6 out of 7 links activated. But... PyCon is providing here 30% um, support for attack and defense. And they're also doing here guaranteed crits. So Cooler is going to be here 
uh, dusted off like it's nothing. So I, I would probably say the other cooler is definitely more difficult in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. And again, I'll say thank you for watching. And if you guys enjoyed, hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!